Hi there, welcome to part one of the Autodesk Revit Architecture for Beginners tutorial here at Manor Machine TV. I'm Emma Godfrey, Autodesk Revit Specialist at Manor Machine and in today's episode we will be covering user interface. So this is the user interface for Revit Architecture 2013. You can see here that on the left hand side we have the properties dialog box and we also have the project browser here. The project browser holds all the information for the project that you've got open at that one time. You see here that you can have different floor plans. So we have two floors at the moment but you can insert another if you like. We have the ceiling plans, you have a 3D view and you have your elevations. The elevations are used by these little pointers here. So obviously this is north and this is the south boundary. And if you double click, for example, the north, you can see here that it takes you to that north elevation and shows you the different levels here. In the project browser, you also have legends, which is the annotation side of things. You also have schedules, this is where you'd have a list of the room schedules, a list of maybe the bill of materials that you have within a different room. We also have sheets, this is for the drawing files, this is to annotate some of the information that you have in your project. And we have families and groups. We also have Revit links at the bottom here, this is where you would import CAD diagrams or CAD drawings and import it within Revit. In the Properties tab, this is where it holds all your information for the whole of the project. At the moment, we have the North Elevation selected. If I go to Floor Plan, it will then change the properties for my Floor Plan. You can see here it's got the different graphics capabilities. It's asking me for the identity data. And it's got extents for the view that I have there. Obviously we haven't got anything in our project at the moment, but it's given me the properties for the level at, as it is at the moment. You can see at the top here we've got an architecture tab. This holds all the components, so you'd have the columns, the windows, the doors. This is where you would start to create your project and your building. We also have the railings, the ramp and the stair command. We have some room and area tools here, so you have, for example, the room separator. So you can see it's giving you a hashed line between two rooms. So when you're on a floor plan, you can get the different annotation between your different floors. Another tab to show you is the structure tab. So this holds all the structure components within your project. So you have the different shafts. and slabs for example. Another one to add is insert. This is where you'd insert some of the CAD drawings and the CAD formats that you have. You can import your drawings here using this import CAD. You can also import images, so there's images you'd like to put in your project, you can import them here using this image tab here. If I go to the annotate tab at the top, this has all your annotation commands. So you see here you've got the align dimensions, you've got the spot elevations, we also have details lines if that's what you want to if that's what you want to show. You can create insulation. So on a plan diagram you can create insulation between walls. We also have the standard text and the spell checking commands. We also have tags, so you can tag the different rooms that you have in your floor plan. Under the Analyze tab, this is where you can record your results for energy saving. Massing a site, this holds some of the commands you'd use in your, your site view. You can see here that you can put some site components, for example trees we have there. Under the Collaborate tab, this is where you do the interference check. So you can check whether anything interferes with anything within the building, within the project that you've got here. 
the view tab this shows you the different views you can have within your different project um, you can change the visibility and the graphics here you can create legends so you can show a different um, it's like a bill of materials so you can show the different materials you have and the different the different costs to those under the manage tab you have here some of the so under the manage projects tab here you can see the different images that have been inserted into the project it just holds more of the project information in a more detailed um, environment the modified tab at the top you can see here it's quite similar to AutoCAD it just has your move, your rotate, your copy command here. It's quite useful if you've got a 2D drawing. And that's it for the user interface. Next week I will be covering creating a project. If you have any questions relating to today's episode, just email training at manandmachine.co.uk and I will do my best to answer them in the next show. Don't forget, we're running a three-day Revit Architecture for Beginners course on September the 12th. Full details can be found at manandmachine.co.uk forward slash training. To keep up with all the latest news, follow us on Twitter at Man and Machine UK or find us on Facebook and LinkedIn. Thanks again and look forward to seeing you next time.